Hello, my name is Jane Fontaine. I'm an occupational therapist, and I'm here to introduce to you the Extend Height Adjustable Back Support, which is part of the next seating series. The Extend Height Adjustment ranges from 16 to 20 inches, and we also have the Extend Low, which has a range from 13 to 17 inches. The reason we have different ranges is to accommodate for different back support lengths that the client might need. However, one of my pet peeves has been that sometimes people feel they need a tall back just because the client is tall. So important measurements to take prior to ordering a back support would be from the bum here to the PSIS, as well as from the PSIS to the inferior angle of the scapula. And one of the things I've noticed over the years when I've measured people, regardless of the height of the person, those measurements are not that different. So ultimately, as you measure somebody, that helps you determine the back support length that you need. Before I show how the actual back works, be aware that we've added some extra stitching here now on the outside of the uh, cover, which helps hold the cover in place for the client. The Extend comes with a standard contour, which I've removed the cover already, so you can see the contour. It's three and a half inches in depth. It also comes in the deep, so this is the Extend Contour Deep that comes in five and a half to seven inches in terms of depth. It is adjustable as well. I've already loosened the bolts here, so you can change the adjustment or the depth of the contour, so maybe on one side it's deeper than the other, or you can just adjust it for your client as need be. Also on the backs, we've added on the cover extra stitching around here. That just helps hold the uh, foam and cover in place during use for the client. The Extend Back Support is made out of two parts of aluminum shell. And the reason for this is one of our common features is still the posterior pelvic cutout. So you want to get the PSIS supported if that person has that ability. And then, um, where do you want the lateral supports? And one of the nice things with the Extend Back Support is that once I have the PSIS supported here, I can loosen four bolts here, which I've done ahead of time for the video. And now I can adjust the lateral supports with respect to the pelvis. So the pelvis stays in the same place, and now I'm adjusting the lateral supports. So with the client seated, um, instead of having to do a whole bunch of adjustments, I can move the ladder and they go, oh, that's exactly where I need it. No, just a little bit lower. So it's an infinite adjustment in that respect. It makes um, setup very easy for you. And if changes occur down, down the road, I can change the position of the lateral supports. All the extend back supports also come with a scapular cutout. So if you are having uh, needing back support higher up, you don't necessarily impact the movement of the scapula. The Extend and the Extend Deep is available in widths of 16 to 24 inches in two inch increments. And the Extend Low and the Extend Low Deep is available from 12 inches to 22 inches, also in two inch increments. So for instance, this is a 12 inch Extend Low with a deep contour and you could see that it potentially could be used for a pediatric situation. An important feature of any back support is how it is uh, removed and put back onto the chair. And often, uh, particularly with folding manual chairs, people do not get rigid back because the effort to take it on and off is quite challenging. So with the uh, next series, we have what's called a one-handed release. And it's simple, I just need to lift this, push forward and off the back, comes off the back of the wheelchair. And then I can snap it back on very easily. If you do not want to get uh, quick release um, hardware, we also offer a four point hardware, a two point hardware, and now a new two point micro hardware, which is very minimalistic, uh, for instance, for a rigid lightweight chair. Also with each of our uh, back supports with the hardware, we have um, three inches that each back can be uh, positioned in. So we have, uh, for instance, if you have a 16 inch back, it can go in a 16 inch chair, 17 inch or 18 inch chair. 
Another feature for me that's very important is the pelvic cutout. And this is uh, for positioning. And how that works is if, for instance, you have a back support that um, comes down too far, and all of our hardware, by the way, has angle adjustability. So um, if I put a back support too far down, and then as I go to angle the back support, I end up pushing the bum forward, which in effect um, makes recline. So instead, what we have is a pelvic cutout. And what that does is I wanna aim the PSIS to about here, so that I get support at the PSIS. I in effect have my bum sticking out a little bit beyond, and now if I go to angle the back support, I do this position. So ultimately what I'm doing with that is getting support at the PSAS, creating this posture. Now that's only if somebody has the ability to do that. If not, if I'm more in a fixed posterior pelvic tilt, it's a different scenario altogether. Also with the back supports comes pelvic uh, foam inserts that I can insert to give that extra support as well. All our back supports now come with a 3D spacer mesh fabric cover, which helps with breathability. On the 3D, there's also reflective piping to assist in the darkness, for instance, down the street. We also now have an optional infection control cover for the Extend and the U-Fit, and this allows for a wipe down uh, fluid resistant fabric. The foam under the covers um, comes with a dual uh, softness. So we have high density foam, which means good quality. And on the part closest to the client, it's a soft foam and then a firmer uh, foam to give support so that you're not bottoming out. You also now have the option of um, a visco, this is gel infused visco elastic foam. So a little better for contouring for the client, but we also still have a layer of the polyurethane foam again, to protect the uh, client from bottoming out. All the foam also extends beyond the edge of the uh, frame so that you get good coverage so that you're not uh, pressing up against the hard uh, aluminum frame. The back supports all have lateral contours that are made of aluminum. So that allows you to bend the lateral contour in or perhaps pull it out depending on the person that's using it. You can also slide in e extra foam support to give extra support there. On the back of all the back supports, uh, we have slots and these slots can accommodate for head supports, uh, shoulder supports, and then there's vertical lines here for external lateral support. So if you need addition to the contour lateral, you need to add external lateral supports, you can do that as well. And then there's extra holes here. So if you're mounting the hardware and it's just in the wrong place, for instance, maybe there's a bolt in the way or something, I can move where the hardware is on the back support to accommodate for different uh, back supports on the wheelchairs. The back supports are made out of a very lightweight aluminum shell and there's extra ribs built in for strength. For more information, please visit our website, dynamichcs.com. Thank you.